wow, this story is really going fucking places. Um, if at any time I'm boring anybody, just let me know. Cause I don't, I don't know. Time. Keep going. I'm I'm interested. <laughs> We're all in. Yeah. Okay. I may I may have to take a bath and break here pretty quick, but <laughs> yeah, it's getting it's getting on intermission. Yeah, you take like, good scared. drinks or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 let's keep going, let's keep going. Keep going. Okay. So, now we gotta rewind to Molly. So, Molly. Um. When I was in high school, I was part of this Christian youth program called Young Life. Of course. I don't, I don't know if you guys were, are, are aware of what Young Life is, but basically it's like a teen outreach group. It's a, it, the, the whole, the whole, uh, thing, the whole concept of it is giving, like, a Make sure kids family. don't kill themselves? Yes, it's giving a All secondary right. family to kids that do not experience family at home. So, what would that like? <laughs> <laughs> Spectre should have had that one. <laughs> so, so it's all about being like super good friends, and you know, being the Christian kid I had, I was, and I had you know good parents, and my family clearly loved me. Um, I was a volunteer <gasps> leader for that shit. <laughs> um, now, Young Life every summer they have a a camp that you go to, right? It's called Young Life Camp. So there's this place in Arizona called Lost Canyon. It's between Williams and Flagstaff. Anybody knows where that is. And it's this uh, it's this little, it's literally a camp where you don't get cell phone service and it's hard to get out of. Like if this was the setting of a horror movie, it would be great because you couldn't, you, you physically could not get out of it without like a vehicle. I don't know how to explain it other than that. That sounds terrible, but okay. But but here's the thing though, is it's actually really good and it's self sufficient. They like if you pay the fee for the camp, you get three meals a day, you get free time, you get fucking to play at a pool, you get to play all these games, you get to play basketball. Like I all had a this... Christian camp like that. It was a week long. Yeah, and, yeah, it was a week like, long. Right? Up in a mountain with by the by the lake, and like you would set set courses that you could do for the entire week, and you'd have to show up to those two courses. Yeah, yeah. And, like they gave everyone their own responsibility. Like no one was watched except for the younger kids. But like, so you could hang out in between like activities, and and then you would go like the bell would ring, and you would go to your next activity. Yeah, that's that pretty much exactly prime for like teen fucking. Well, here's the thing though. Like, if you get caught doing anything provocative, you get thrown out of the camp, and you have to find your own way home. That's that's the rule. What? They, t- <laughs> they tell you that straight up. Like, if you and mine wasn't like that. I'm pretty sure your parents would have got called, but. No, 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 it's, it's all on the waiver. Your parents couldn't do shit. Um, well, my camp I'm talking about, but yeah. yeah. That's... So, so, like, you had to be very careful about that. But they were so, like, there was also a concept called camp crushes. That was a thing. Like, it was, it was, it happened. Now, 16-year-old Jake rolls up in this camp. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's balling out. I'm, with I'm balling hair. out. I'm having a great time. With his great-looking you know. hair. Um, and then, literally, out of nowhere, I'm walking past the blacksmith shop, and I shit you not, there was a blacksmith shop. It was pretty fucking badass. And this cute ass girl with like freckles, a really small button nose, like long ass flowing brown hair, just like skips out of the blacksmith. I'm like, holy fuck! Like, it was, and and this has never happened for me except for this moment in time. But time literally like stopped for me for a good solid ten seconds, and I'm like, wow, this girl's like fucking beautiful. So obviously, I turned around the other way and started walking away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but she she says, "Hey," and I'm like, "Oh fuck, me?" And she's like, "Yeah." <laughs> and she's like, "Why did you look at me really awkwardly for a minute and then turn away?" And I was like, "Cause I think you're cute." She's like, "Well, you're cute too." So, fast forward six months, we're dating. Um, you're banging. What? No, we're Christians. We can't. Um... <laughs> 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 oh, religion's dumb. Um, so, obviously I had to go through the whole, you know, formal ask her father to, like, date and stuff like that. Um, what? and it's going, it's going great. Um, I honestly, I think that was one of the healthiest relationships I've had. Um, but I think that was one of the only relationships that I could genuinely say that, okay, I love this girl. Like, and I, and I never told her to her, because, you know, it was, I don't know, I just couldn't. How, how long did it last in total? About eight months. Um, but anyway, so she's visiting me in Phoenix. And this is about like seven months in the relationship. So she's visiting, visiting me in Phoenix. And it's just, and 
she's super into nature and stuff like that. She wasn't a hippie, but she like really thought landscapes and shit were pretty. So I'm like, okay, I got this perfect thing planned. I'm going to go get dinner. And then we're going to drive out to the desert, bring out a blanket, and we're going to stargaze. Because obviously that's romantic as shit. And I also had like an entire album of Frank Ocean, which was her fucking jam. We're just listening to Frank Ocean, eating food, stargazing out in the middle of the desert. It was great. And that was when I kissed her for the first time. Um, and keep in mind, these, this event, this is all in the span of a weekend. Um, because she's visiting during the weekend because she worked and whatnot, being a responsible young adult. Um, so I kissed her for the first time, a seven-month relationship, and it was great. I That was when I knew for sure that I loved her. And you know, It's going to end so terribly that I'm going to feel so sad. We, we, uh, we drove home, and, you know, I kissed her goodnight, and... And then I had to pull her back. I had, your channel. I, I had to pull her back because I'm like, I, I don't know in the next time I'm going to kiss you is. So I kissed her again. Anyway, <laughs> say goodnight. Um, and then I drive home and she, you know, she's texting me all happy and shit. And it's great. So we have plans. Again, and I see these cycles when I date people now and it bothers me. And this is why I'm getting <laughs> frustrated. Um, <laughs> but we have plans laid it out to hang out tomorrow. And then... You know, around four o'clock, six o'clock, somewhere in that range. She she texts me. She's like, "Hey, my really good friend from camp, like also at the camp that I met you, um, is getting shipped off to the Marines tomorrow, and I want to hang out with him, like before, like he goes off." And I said, "Okay, like I'm not, I'm not super controlling, nor should I be. You're your I own person. This I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, not gonna say no." Um, so she hangs out. With so how many him. kids do they have together now? The day, the day, <laughs> the day passes. On, this, is, this, is, no. this is a sensitive subject for me, man. Don't, don't crash. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, continue, continue. Um, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. You're fine. But, like, I, I ask her, like, oh, how'd it go? And no response. Uh, I, I finally get something from her the next Friday. It had been a week since I had talked to her. And obviously that makes me feel all kinds of shitty. Um... But she says, I'm really sorry, Jake, but this isn't going to work. And, I, and I'm like, wait, why? Like, I thought this was going great. And she said, I know it is. It's really great. I like you a lot. And, but, this, but I really like, you know, Marine Boy, too. And I said, oh, okay. So are you going to go be with him then? And she said, yeah, I think I have more of a future with him. So I said, okay, if that's what's going to make you happy, I'll let it happen. So, and that was the last time I ever talked to her. Uh, fuck. God damn it. That was fucking dark. Fast forward to today, the they're still dating. They've been happily dating for, what, three, four years now? And, I, and I'm glad. I'm glad that she's happy. Hey, I'm glad that you found... Happiness Wait a minute, for them. Talk about the girl that you were literally talking about. Like... We are. This is a runoff. This is um, a side story. This is a side story. We'll, we'll bring it all back around, cause like, don't worry. Okay. So, so, yeah. Fast forward three, four years to today. They're still dating, and and I'm legitimately happy for her. I am. I'm. I'm glad that, you know, she found someone stable and someone that she could be with and be happy with. That's all I truly ever wanted for her, because I loved her, right? As I wanted for her to be happy, and if she's gonna be happy with that other person. And so be it. That's that's how it has to be. I can't say, no, you need to be happy with me. If she's not going to be happy with me, there's no point in forcing it because she'll resent me for it, right? So exactly. that was one of those things that I had to let go. Even though it killed me, and it still kills me, I had to let it go. So let's bring it back to Tara. Tara was one of the person, along with my other really good friend, Reyna, that I confided in a lot about this whole Molly thing. They were the two people, um, along with like one other person, that I was able to really talk to, and they were the first person that came and saw me after they heard about what happens, because they knew how much you know Molly meant to me, because I wouldn't shut up and stop gushing about her. So, Tara, like when when we were talking about like if we believe in true love, Tara's like. You loved Molly a lot, didn't you? And I said, yeah, that was 
pretty much one of the only times that I thought I've loved someone. And she's like, I've never loved anybody before. So it got kind of like quiet after that, and we were kind of talking. It Are we been... back to the 20 questions in the car? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so now it had been an hour and 20 minutes, and my parents were still not home. It had what? been double what they said, and, um, and, and it was getting pretty dark, pretty awkward, and we were asking really deep questions. So we decided to drive back to her house because there's literally no point in waiting any longer for my parents. Um, so we're driving. And it's really not talking much, but she grabs my hand again, right? And like, I'm reading these, again, back to the signals. And she grabs my hand. And Who? Who? Tara. The okay. girl that... The girl... The okay. present day. Present day girl. Present day, right. yeah. So we're holding hands. We're not really talking much. But then, you know, her being a sweetheart, she fucking, like, turns on some of my favorite music and we just start jamming out. It's great. It's going great. So her friends, out of nowhere, like, we, we still haven't made fucking dinner yet. Her friends are texting her as she's, uh... As we're driving to her house. And... They're like, hey, we're going to go see Alien Covenant. Do you want to go? And she's like, yeah. Does it, do you mind if Jake tags along? And these are people we all knew in high school. So they were, cl- they were, they were obviously cool with it. They were probably questioning what she was doing with me, but I mean, it was whatever. So I asked her, I'm like, now, if I put the moves on you in the theater, and she's like, yeah, can we not? I said, oh, OK. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then I, and then I don't know how it came up, but she's like, so there's something I need to talk to you about. And I said, okay. Like, obviously we're good friends. I'm open to talking about anything. And she, and she said, uh, she said, you know how I went to, like, England, like, last year over the summer? And you know how I'm going again this summer? And I said, yeah. And she's like, well, when I broke up with Preston, there was this guy that was there for me pretty much the entire time I was going through that breakup. And I said, Okay. Damn it. She, and she's like, this is like, you know, a really good friend of mine. Um, and we also have, you know, a bit of history. And and I said, but you're not dating him now, right? And she said, no, because we are in an open relationship. And when I am not in England, she says, he says that I'm free to do as I want. Oh. And, she's, and she said, now, is this something you are comfortable with? And I, <laughs> and, you know, and I say this with, and, and this is such a such an overused word with our like group of people here, but and this is the, this is the first time I've ever said this word non ironically too. But here, but not being a cuck, right? Not being a cuck. I'm 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 obviously I'm obviously gonna say no. That's not okay. But also being me saying going back to the whole. Wanting people to be happy reason for whatever fucking reason. Everybody needs to be happy except for me. I said, y- you know, I, 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 I could be talked into it, but I'm not, like, super comfortable with the concept. Is what I literally said. So, um, so, so we go to the movie, and it's Alien Covenant, so there's jump scares and shit. So I'm like, okay, this is, this is okay. So we, we are not doing anything. But I'm being super smooth, and we got one of those, and I bought one of those, uh, those fucking expensive ass like love seat type things where you can put up the armrest and, you know, being a gentleman and shit, trying to trying to play. Oh this, play yeah. The so, we're in Alien Covenant. Jump scare happens. Surprise, surprise, fucking surprise. She jumps right on me, basically. Um, and I'm like, nice. This is this is going great. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> so so we're sitting there, and. Like, okay, she didn't jump completely on me because obviously she's still trying to maintain her composure in front of her friends. Because her friends, her friends think she's dating dude in England, which is why they're confused she's hanging out with me. Understandable on their end. I'm confused um, why she's hanging out with you. Because <laughs> she likes them. Sorry, I'm not like, I'm not, no, no, no. Like, I'm not trying to make fun of you. Like, I thought uh, she was like a devout Christian kind of thing. Like, open relationships are weird, dude. I can't explain it. Um,. She's but, obviously less devout than her parents. But um but she's still like holding on to me pretty much the entire movie because jump scares. Um and obviously I can't put my arm around her, I can't do anything back, but she's like physically holding onto my arm, like clinging to it. And well, I can put it in her so, butt. So I'm so I'm reading these signals. I'm not fucking insane, is what I'm trying to say, is I'm reading these signals. I swear to god there's signals, but okay, anyway. 
so so we drive back and it's 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 an okay movie because I I like Alien Covenant. I would not regret seeing it again. It was it was good. Um, and I'm talking about it because my my buddy from the Navy is who we saw it with. Him and his girlfriend, and then um, and then yeah, Tara, the girl, and then myself. So it was just us four. Um, but they didn't know that we were talking. Um, so me and my buddy from the Navy are shooting the shit about the movie. We're talking about how it tied into Prometheus and shit like that. Super irrelevant. But the girls are zoning out because, you know, they don't care about fucking nerdy shit. So we're not, they're not talking about it. But we get home and they drive off and she immediately grabs my hand and says, it, it's, it's one in the morning. She grabs my hand and says, is it too late for pancakes? And I said, girl, it's never too fucking late for pancakes. So we go inside. We literally make pancakes. And here I was, thinking that was an innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> but, so we make pancakes. Ha, what? And her fucking mom walks out. She's like, what are you two doing? And we literally like dropped everything. We look up, we're like, we're making pancakes. What does it fucking look like we're doing? <laughs> so her mom's like, you two are fucking goofy as shit. So anyway, so, they, so she goes back to bed. And we're all in the clear. So we eat the pancakes, we watch a little bit of Netflix, and literally nothing happens because I know her parents are in the next room and I don't want to fucking push it. Um, but we walk outside and, uh, you know, we hug. And she's like, your heart's beating really fast. I'm like, I know it is because I'm nervous. And she's like, why are you nervous? So then, so then we pulled away like we did the first time. And Which, oh, my... why are you <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and, and I look her in the eyes and I'm like, Okay, I'm not fucking blowing this this time. I said, and she's she's left leaning libertarian. So me being the respectful fuck I am, I'm like, can I kiss you? I asked her if I could oh kiss her. Oh my god, what um, are you doing? Being respectful, boy. This is coming from Kozak, by the way, who couldn't get any from a girl. But uh, go go ahead, Jay Wolf. But then, she, <laughs> but then, but then she like she thinks for a second, and then she's like, no. But oh. next time, and I'm like, when the fuck is next time? Like, so I literally, I literally leave morning? tomorrow. Um, so, so, so she's like, yeah, we'll hang out tomorrow. Like, I'll say goodbye to you before you drive back to Tucson. And I said, okay, cool. Um, you cucked yourself. So we fast forward to the next day. I'm pretty much texting her all day. And she said, and I'm like, hey, when are, when are you going to be free? And, and she's bad at texting all of a sudden now. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, so, so I'm Wolf. sitting at my house, and then she said, I should be three, free at three, just randomly. I don't know why. She's like, I'm, I'm free at three. So I'm like, okay, drive fucking 40 minutes. Because here, I'm like, hey, I'm outside. And she's like, actually, I'm still out doing groceries. I said, okay, when are you going to be back? She said, two hours. So I'm like, fuck this. I'm going back home. So I drive back home. And then, these are and then, uh, 40 minute drives, and, right? Yeah. Yeah, these are 40 minute drives. So, I'm dr so I drive there. She's not there. Drive back home. And then she texts me like 30 minutes later. She's like, hey, I'm home now. Can I, can we like hang out for a little bit? I'm like, I literally have to leave back to Tucson in like two hours. I'm not going to be able to sleep before work. So I drive back over there. And then again, she's like, ah, oh, fuck, I just got busy again. And I'm like, N are you, what? No, so... fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, out. That's bitch. You know, so, like, I'm done, dude. So I, I, I drive back home. I get my shit. I drive back to Surprise because my roommate is there too. Because um, I drove him there. Uh, initially, when I first came off the visit, because he didn't have a ride, so I had to drive him back to Tucson after I drove him there. He just wanted to hang out with family. It's whatever. I was just being a good, good roommate, good doing good roommate things. So I I drive there, pick up my fucking roommate, drive about an hour south, and then she said, "Hey, can you hang out?" And I'm like, "Bitch, you are fucking, oh my god." So naturally, let's let's ask the crowd here. What do you think Jake did at that point in time? You said yes. Yeah, of course the fucking. <laughs> So, I get there, I fucking, I walk straight up that door with as much fucking swagger as I can muster, give her a goddamn hug, pull back, go in for the kiss, and she says, next time. I'm like, bitch, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. You should have iced her. I'm so sorry. Wolf. That's what you should have done. You should have iced her that that time when she was gonna hang out. You should be like, "No, I'm busy now." Be advised, no. battle damage assessment 100 over 100. <laughs> you, you should have iced her. Somebody's having as much trouble with women as I am. So, 
So I drive back to Tucson. I'm fucking infuriated, and my my roommate's laughing at me the entire time. He's like, "You're fucking, you're a fucking bitch." I'm like, "I know I am." <laughs> <laughs> I'm your roommate. <laughs> oh. So, I'm still in the game at this point in time. What? Not like Why? not like currently. Not currently. Not currently. Uh, we're getting we're getting there. Okay. Um. But I'm I'm still in the game. She's still texting me. She's being fucking cute and shit. She's you know saying. She's playing it, dude. Who boy did I not know that? Um, <laughs> but she's an attention whore. So I, so I drive back to Tucson, and I'm I'm just hanging out. We're texting. Um, and and here's the thing. About a week prior, we had made plans, um, for her to come visit me in Tucson. To my I remember house, this. You told me this. Where literally no one else was gonna be. Like it was gonna be my roommate, and I already made a deal with him. I said, "Dude, I'll fucking like, I'll I'll buy you a hotel room if you will get the fuck out." And he said, "Dude, I'm down." So, bro, go I, got it. Yeah, being a good roommate. Because... I can confirm this. Jay Jay Walsey told me all of this. Continue. So so so, I'm texting her. I'm getting super hyped. I've fucking been cleaning my room for the like past. Or I had been, I had been cleaning my room for the past like four or five fucking days, right? Like deep cleaning the shit because it's a bachelor pad and literally like just me and a couple of guys live here. So I'm cleaning the kitchen. I'm stocking up on fucking vegan food. I had to research what vegans eat. I don't I don't know how to cook vegan food. Hey, here's a fact: but... Oreos are vegan. You can, you can I, I found that Oreos. out. You're right. Yeah, that is. They are actually vegan. Surprisingly. So so I'm Same I'm doing Pringles. I'm doing Sorry. all this shit. I'm. I am just, I am, I'm like, ooh, this is gonna, this is for sure. I am either going to, A, finally fucking get kissed, or B, I might get laid. Like, she's coming to my house, there's really gonna be no other option because of the implication. But, like... Because of the implication! <laughs> you know, she looks out to sea, there's nowhere for her to go. You know, the implication. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm getting super hyped, like, I've been going, I went to the gym every day that week, for like two, three hours a piece. Like, I had nothing but work. Like, prepping the house and gym. Like, I was feeling fucking great. I thought it was going to be a great time. I stopped fucking jerking up for a week, too, because I'm like, I don't want to get, like, fucking halfway through and then not have enough energy to continue. So, um... <laughs> Doesn't work so, like that. So, so, so Thursday rolls around, the day where she was supposed to... Oh, and also keep in mind that I took off Friday from work. Like, I literally worked 10-hour days for four days in a row so I could have Friday off so I could hang out with her. Thursday night, 9 p.m. It's going to end around. in heartbreak. here by now. And she's like, yeah, my parents said I can't take the fucking car to Tucson. I said, but bitch, I will pick you up. Are Let's you, go. Like, I will, I will buy you a fucking bus ticket. Like, is this, <laughs> like, you could have told me this, but you waited until 9 p.m. Why? Do 9 p.m. Fucking... that day? Yes, 9 p.m. She has, like, and I'm like, you legitimately have, like, a misfunction with communication. Like, you suddenly, we were talking, like, five minute interval texts, like, two weeks prior. Like, what the fuck happened between now and then, where it takes you five hours to respond to a goddamn text? Like, they called her. So, so she tells me, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it to Tucson because my parents won't let me borrow the car. I said, well, that's fucking lame. Um, and she said, yeah, but we also need to talk about something. And I said, uh-oh. So she tells me, uh, so Harrison is the dude in England. Um, she's like, yeah, me and Harrison ironed out most of our issues, and we're gonna be, like, Ooh. going relationship full-time. And I said, okay. No, he said, fuck you at that point. No, no, no. This is, this is what, this is what Jake you fucking Wolf hope. said. This is what Jake fucking Wolf said. I said, whatever makes you happy. God damn it! Hmm. And that's the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. That was, uh, I'm like heartbroken. Sounds like a typical manipulative bitch. Yep. If there's one thing I take home about this, it's that Jake Wolf has nice hair. He does. He does have great hair. Can't confirm. Jack, top gif. And fucking mm -hmm. swagger when he walks the doors. Doc, you said you had a story? I have a similar story to being... <clears throat> Played in high school. All right, let's hear um, it. I'm done. Do you want the long version or just a really short? Dude, version? I oh, just poured my heart out. You have to go the long version. Oh, yeah, you're gonna okay, have to go the long okay. way. I mean, we're only 20 so, minutes in, so. Same, same with. Are you recording this too? Ah, uh, I don't know. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, same with Wolf. I. 
that a thing? Yeah, yeah you can record team speak. That's funny. So same same as Wolf, I pretty much every girl that I started to have a crush on, I became a set, obsessive over. Um, basically, I started talking to the the slut of the high school. That's a good way to start. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> everyone knew she. Everyone knew she put out. Um, and so basically, we're talking. We went on a couple dates. Nothing really happened. And just one night, she just sends me a nude picture. Oh. I was like, nice. Hey. Okay. Um, like this is going. And then basically, for like two weeks, just we kept talking, kept hanging out. Nothing happened in person because I was a beta bitch. Um, but then, like, over the course of that, she probably sent me, like, five or six nude photos. And then w- my birthday comes around. Oh, boy. And <laughs> I was talking to my friend <clears throat> on how I invited her over to my my house, well, my parents' house at the time, because they weren't home. And I had bought in condoms because I knew she was like I I was more like afraid that she would put out like and that and I wouldn't be prepared. Good point. Um, more than I wanted to bang her, but I still wanted to bang her. Um, and he was talking to his one of his friends in class, and she had that class, and she overheard it. And so she started texting me. She started freaking out. Um, and basically, we got out of school, and I was—I remember I was driving home, and she was like, "I kind of like was like explaining to her on how much I liked her and how much I wanted to be with her." And and she was like, "We barely know each other." So- She's like, "I barely know you." What? And I, I was like, oh, you sent all those pictures to, to guys you barely know? And she's like, don't go there. I was like, what? And and so basically that was that was it. But I know it's not as long as Wolf's, but it, my story is that she she was a slut and just wanted attention. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wow. Bravo, bravo. Wolf, I was expecting there to be some sort of emotional downturn, kind of like. But oh, well, yeah, I mean, a, I, I, I did. I had a lot of emotions for her over those course, of, like the two weeks. Like we went to movies, we went to like a school play together. Did you pay for it all? I, of course, my nigga. Oh. Why? What? Because what do you mean why? He was a good person. No, yeah, I understand exactly why. But like in retrospect, why? <laughs> uh. Dude, well. I fucking hate girls sometimes, but at the same time, like, I love girls, right? Hey, man, can't live with them, can't hunt them for sport, alright? Yeah. What? 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 Nothing. Exactly. Sure. Kozak, any, anything you want to add? Kozak Yo. become fucking Ted Bundy. <laughs> I mean, I've been making out with this bitch, so I mean, like, I'm, 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 I'm good enough where I'm at right now, so. Yeah, how long till that far is apart? I mean, Sunday, she was like, yeah, let's just be friends. I'm like, all right, I don't give a fuck. This ain't going anywhere anyways. You, wanna, you don't want to date? I want to date. So, fuck it. I'm just going to be for just be friends. So, is it the suck your dick kind of friend, or is it just the, like, no, I'll, I mean, I'll buy you food and shit and I hope you'll suck my dick yet. kind of friend? I haven't gotten there yet. We'll see. Are you at least splitting the bill? Um. Well, the, we haven't gone out dinners yet since we, like, since we, like, became, like, started to say, yeah, we're just friends and so-and-so. Like when we were trying, when I was trying to date her, yeah, I'd take her out and I'd pay for everything, cause that's just kind of how I am. But you, now, just you like, should, yeah, uh, you should take her out to dinner and try to be real egalitarian about that shit. Bitches love that shit. Uh, if we fucking go out again, I'm gonna be like, hey, you're paying, you're paying for yourself. Bitch. Oh yeah, that's Fuck that's off. what a egalitarian is. You, it's very, uh, very equal. Exactly. And so then, anyway. and then, and then, she, and then she'll realize, right? Like, fuck, he could be paying. I just yeah, you're right. No, she'll, she'll just stop talking. Yep. Anyways, tonight we were at we were at work. We closed it down and work pretty much. We had a couple of our coworkers drink, drinking and shit, just hanging out. Walk her out to her car. Fucking just made out with her right there. So I mean, she still likes me. She still wants to do shit. It's just she doesn't want to be in the relationship. So she's kind of fucking being a little bitch about it. I don't know. I don't really give a fuck anymore. So. I'm just getting fucking something out of it at least. I really don't care. 
If it leaves a relationship, it does. But if it doesn't, eh, I'm not too hurt about it. But if I find out she fucking does something with other, some other dude, yep, then I really don't give a fuck. We'll see. You want to know why I also don't like women sometimes? Oh, let's hear it. Fucking manipulative assholes. Also, yes. But, right, okay, so, little did I know, you know, I, I'm a junior in college, so apparently I still got shit to learn. Um, but, like, my freshman year of college, I was talking to this fucking, this, uh, this girl from, from high school. Because, in my experience, they are ultimately easier to talk to because you actually have something in common with them still. Um, I don't know, it's hard to talk to college girls, dude, fuck. Um, <laughs> anyway, so... Preface this. I had just finished like um, a relationship, quote quote, with a different girl from our fucking high school, um, and in that relationship, we we ended up fucking sort of irrelevant. Not really though. So, um, was she hot? Was, is she? Yeah. Oh, if I she, like that she, answer. She got. That's a weird right. answer. She got better in college, but in high school, I was not attracted to her in the slightest. I actually thought she was annoying and repulsive, but in college, she got tits somehow. I don't know what happened. Um, <coughs> Bat. She's still she's still annoying, though. I guess I'll go there. Um, so I'm talking to this girl, Stephanie. Um, Stephanie is great. We have a lot in common. We were both in choir together. <laughs> However, we also had slight, a slight relationship in, uh, in high school before this all prefaced. Now, uh, Stephanie and I did not work out in high school because at the time I was dating this girl named Danielle. Danielle was the second girl I ever loved. We are not going down that road. Um, I'm so, assuming it ended somehow in the same way. Ooh, much, much worse. Um, oh boy. So anyway, so, so Stephanie and I didn't work out because of Danielle. Um, but, like, we're in college, and she's like, yeah, you know, let's, let's talk, see what happens. And I'm like, okay, cool. Fucking nice. Um, so, I had not talked to anybody about... Um, fuck, I'll just use her name, I guess. But Kaylee. Kaylee was the girl that I had, you know, fucked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did say 12 to 7. Anyway. Um, Kaylee was the girl that I... Was, was the one that I fucked um, prior. And I had talked to literally no one about it. Now, uh, fast forward to when I'm talking to Stephanie, I had talked to one of my, the other girl that I mentioned in the Pratt story, Reyna. She was my other really good friend from high school. Reyna and I have a completely platonic relationship. There's literally nothing there. Um, but I talked to her about it. And I said, and I, and I was upset because obviously, you know, I'm still the fucking dude that tries to pull a relationship out of goddamn everything. So here I am fucking a girl thinking, hey, I might actually get a relationship out of this. That's literally the thought I had in my mind. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I talked to Raina about it and I'm, you know, upset because, like, it didn't work out again as per usual. Um, and fast forward a week with Stephanie. And Stephanie's like, Yo, why are you fucking Kaylee when you're when you're talking to me? And I'm like, what? Like, a, I told a singular person about that incident, so that either leads me to believe that you're still talking to Kaylee, or my my one of my best friends from high school has decided to think it would be a good idea to tell you that I was fucking around with other people. So Stephanie then drives to Tucson to visit with one with 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 Reyna. Surprise, surprise. Um. And, like, she keeps, we all got super drunk, but she keeps bringing up this Kaylee thing. Like, even when we were making out, like, she's like, well, why'd you fuck Kaylee, though? And I'm yeah, like, like, bitch, you gotta get over it. And, <laughs> and, then, and then she sucks my dick, and she's like, but you still fuck Kaylee. And I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> well, are you never gonna let that die? And that's that's ultimately what ended up uh, ending that relationship was because I fucked Kaylee though. That was that was literally it. Yeah, but like, was it good? Which part? Fucking Kaylee. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. 
That's all that matters. I think you came out a winner in both of those scenarios, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Got your dick sucked and you fucked. Yeah, yeah, but here's the problem, though. I'm fucking 22 years old. I'm looking for a goddamn stable relationship, and all these fucking girls from my hometown are still ho still hoeing around. Like, they think that... Holy fuck, why can't a girl just not be a hoe? That's that's what I'm trying to say, I guess. That's Moral of the story is... Yeah, it, good luck finding that there, but I found one, and mm -hmm. I'm fucking holding on for dear life is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Small so talents just... warp minds, man. Oh, there's man. there's a there's a saying from uh from my hometown and it's actually Jesus really Christ, fucking Kozak. funny because it's fu because it's funny. Um, the saying goes, "There's a lot of fucking cute girls from Surprise, but it's a real goddamn shame that they're from Surprise because they're all fucking hoes." That is, that is a thing. That is a saying now. It is. I hate my hometown so much, dude. That's Yo, I think town. I think everyone hates their hometown. I like my oh, hometown. Oh, I've. Then fuck, I guess it's just me then, and Jay Walsey. Then, then again, I my hometown I only lived in until I was six. So I I really liked Wisconsin. I loved Wisconsin actually. Wisconsin is okay. I Minnesota's I liked... better. You're I saying that because you're from Minnesota? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck Wisconsin. I uh I liked it A because there was uh how do I say this nicely? There's less diversity there. Um, That's racist. If I'm being 100% honest, though, I love white girls, dude. I don't know why. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm into Asians and I'm, in, I'm into Latinas, but like, I can't handle the nuances of dating a black girl for whatever reason. I can't. Like, They're I, fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I this think... is... That's all you need to know. I mean, <laughs> And I've told Spectre this, but there's this there's this new girl at my work. She's a total white girl. She's from Arizona, and she's like, "There's not many black people here." I was like, "Yeah." And she's like, "That's a shame." Is she from Surprise, Arizona? Uh, <laughs> you should ask her. Wait, wait, wait. Did she go to ASU? Because there's your sign. I have no idea. Ask her if she went to ASU. If she said yes, she's, then she is. She has a body nine, count higher than her fucking so age. I don't think she she's went to college. Ooh, that does not. She actually matter. did drop out of high school. So yeah. You should ask her. Ask her where she's from in Arizona. Ask her if she knows Jay Walsey. Ask her, I, we, ask her where she's from in Arizona, and I'll be able to tell you whether or not she's a hoe. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I think I could get that by the way what she said to me about black people in my town. Yeah, just because she fucks black girls, or black dudes doesn't mean she's a, she's a hoe. Uh, she, uh, she prefers uh, uh, black dudes, I don't know. Uh, See, I, I have no problem with black people. Like, black guys, right? Why'd you have to whisper men, that? Men, because one of my roommates is black. Um, But, like... I have no problem with black men because they are some of the coolest people I've ever met. But the women, dude, oh my, I, mm, I can't do it. Anyway, that's why I like Wisconsin because it's basically all white girls. I uh -huh. shit you not. I shit you not. When I was in middle school in Wisconsin, there was a single black dude in our entire school. Like it was literally like the movie Get Out, except like multiply that times like two hundred because there was a shit ton of people and it was all white and literally a single black dude. It was. Also, minus the chasing around and killing the black dude part, that also didn't happen. I was gonna say... <laughs> we didn't kill black people, is what I'm saying. Okay, just making sure. Glad I have that fucking, recorded. Fucking middle school white kids, what are... What? Dude, middle school kids can be mean. Ooh, I made teachers cry I, in middle school. Dude, I got arrested in middle school. Me too! High five! Hey, well, Sam! Ooh, not deliberately, I stole from though. Game you st <laughs> <laughs> See, you guys, you guys probably actually did something, but what I did was fucking oh. like, innocent as shit. I was a good boy. Same. It was what, what, what did you get arrested for, Co or fucking Spectre? Uh, two counts of terroristic threats and assault. <laughs> See, that's fucking crazy shit. I got. What I got... the fuck did you do that? <laughs> I, I love. <laughs> no, that's all right. Continue. No, keep keep going. So when I was in middle school, I had a fucking uh, I, I had a pimpin' ass uh, fucking corduroy jacket. I thought that was the shit, right? It was this. It was oh this, my god! It was this super nice, like it was. It was something that I, you know you saw those fucking like really preppy dudes in movies wear. You know, me being Jake Wolf, I wanted to be fucking just like the dudes in the movies, cause fucking you can't have good hair without fucking a nice jacket. Is my mindset? That's my logic. So I got this. I got this corduroy jacket. I got a single pocket on it because fucking corduroy jackets, right? Single pocket. Now, my best friend at the time, Colin. Um, he's a super fucking redneck dude, but 
so it was it was really kind of funny because I was a super city boy and he was a redneck, but we lived next door to each other. So it was it was super cool. He was who I grew up with. He had just gotten home from a camping or a camping slash hunting trip with his dad. Um, and I have been obsessed with guns since I was a small one, since I was a Same. small little boy. Same. Um, and I see this is the first time in my life I've seen a shotgun shell. I'm like, dude, this is fucking cool. He's like, oh yeah, dude, you can have it. It's like fucking twenty five cents. I'm like, nice, dude. Thanks. He's like, cool. So he gave me a he gave me a live shotgun shell. And uh and uh I put that in my corner right jacket pocket, the one pocket in my jacket. Now. Oh you went to school and you had fucking ammo in your pocket? You're so I, so I You're went to hard. So I went to school. <laughs> I had completely forgot because this is an inside jacket pocket, right? Like it's not, I don't put my hands in there when it's cold. I it's something where you put like Actually I have a very similar actually almost the same How story. Did someone find it. That's what I'm now here's the kicker, right? Also, so we, why we is had... having ammo on school grounds? Because it's ammo. Thing? But it's not uh, a gun. It's that's, that's, what, that's what I said. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, let's just continue. Yeah. Um, so I, ha so these blockers we, ha we have in Wisconsin, it's it's an okay town, but it's not that good of a town. Like it's it's white collar, but it's like middle class white collar. I don't know. It's hard to explain. So anyway, we have these tiny ass lockers that barely fit anything. So when you got to put something in your locker, you literally got to stuff it in there. Like you, there's no other way to, if, and especially if you have a jacket, like fuck, if you got a book bag, you've, you've lost 90% 90, 90 of your locker space. You have to find something else. Um, so I, I, being fucking stubborn person I was, I put my jacket in there anyway, even though everybody else brought their jackets inside and put them on their chairs. I, I decided to put it in my locker. Now, one day, as I am the last kid out of my class and I am walking to school, I pull my jacket out of the locker, and the shotgun shell just rolls out of the floor. Now, the bitchiest teacher in the entire fucking like school happens to be walking by as the shotgun shell rolls in front of her feet. She's like, oh my god, he's got a fucking gun! So, <laughs> naturally... The police liaisons run around the fucking corner and tackle my 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 fucking like 13, 12 year old ass onto the floor. Skinny white boy, like full force. These are like two hundred fifty pound shooter. dudes. Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, this dude with the fucking cornray jacket and fucking frosted tips definitely has a shotgun. <laughs> you had frosted tips. <laughs> 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 That's the best part of the entire story! <laughs> so I get tackled to the goddamn ground by two fucking 250 pound police officers in full fucking vests because, you know, white collar kids in Wisconsin definitely bring guns to school. Um, and they, they immediately slap cuffs on me. And they're like, where's the gun? I'm like, dude, I don't have any guns. Like, They're like, we're gonna fucking tear, tear out your locker. I'm like, I don't have guns. So they're throwing my shit all over the place. They, uh... You know, they're throwing all my fucking Valentine's Day letters all over the place. I'm like, dude, that's really uncool. Like, I, <laughs> I need those. You don't understand. <laughs> so, and then they, they drag me to the principal's office. And this is a... Uh, this is, is this why you moved, by the way? Oh, no. But, so this, so this is a Friday. And my friend Colin had gotten back from his hunting trip Thursday. Because who goes fucking camping in the middle of the week? Who knows? Um, and... I get dragged to the principal's office. And he's like, "Where the fuck did you get this shotgun shell?" I'm like, "My friend Kyle gave it to me." He's like, "Is oh, that so?" Your friend out. He leaves. He leaves the fucking office, and I'm sitting in there crying because I'm a fucking I'm like a 12 year old kid getting arrested for a shotgun shell. I'm bawling my ass out. So he walks back in. He's like, "Want to know how I know you're lying?" And I'm like, "I'm not lying." And he says, "Because your friend Colin is still out camping." And I'm like, "What the fuck? I saw him yesterday." So. He calls like he calls he calls our house like three more times and finally Colin's goddamn dad answers the phone. He's like, "Yeah, we got back yesterday," and and I'm like, and he's like, "Okay, your story checks out. You can go back to class." Fucking walking back to class. No my apology. Co my my corduroy jacket is fucking ripped. Like they literally I... ripped it out of my hands. It's it's gone. My shirt is also ripped, and my. They pants, sent you back to they, class with they, ripped clothes. They confiscated my belt and shit. All this stuff, like they, they, they made me look like a goddamn mess, and I'm still crying. I didn't get escorted to anywhere. You're in middle I, school I, too. I, I didn't. Like, oh I didn't. God. I didn't get a call. My parents. What? what? Yeah, they oh, didn't call no. my parents. They. That's they illegal. Class. So my dad picked me up for sc from school. He's like, 
oh, what happened? And so I tell him the whole story. He's like, well, you shouldn't have brought a shotgun sk- <laughs> shell to school, son. And I'm like, no shit, dad. So then my mom <laughs> finds out. And she fucking, ooh, she does not like that. Yeah, m- my mom got someone fired, actually, because of that. But anyway, yeah. Um, That's what moms are good for. Calling the school when the dude, school abuses the kid. you don't fuck with Mama Bear. Oh, my God. I love my mom Oh, so my much. God. I have to find this fucking video now. Hold on. Is this the end of the story? Because I got, I got good follow-up stories. Yeah, that's the that end of the story. That reminds me of when I brought a knife to school. I used to bring a knife to school all the time. That's not, that's not, that's not important. Uh, no, it's not. So, I had the same thing. I went to a uh, hunting cabin up in Pennsylvania, and I brought, like, my backpack with me, because I used to, like, I used my backpack. I didn't, like, actually use my backpack for school, obviously. Who the fuck does that? I, like, used to put, the, put clothes in and stuff like that. And, um, actually, on that trip, I we got, just got done shooting uh, ARs. And I had two loaded mags in my hoodie pocket. I didn't realize. <laughs> and I walked into a Walmart, and I went to go put my hands in my pocket because it was freezing in there. And I realized I was like, I have two thirty round five five six mags in my pocket. You were in Walmart. Fuck. Though? It's Walmart yeah, though. I know. And I was like, I don't know what to do here. So I just kept my hands in my pocket the entire time. Anyway, so I, I got I finally get back to Jersey because I wasn't even in Jersey. I was in Pennsylvania. And um. I, you know, I brought my backpack back, you know, to school to put, like, my, my two fucking binders in that I used. And I was, uh, I was going through my backpack to get something out. And I look in, there's fucking shotgun shells and shit in the inner pocket of my backpack. Because I was using it on that goddamn camping trip. And I was like, oh, oh fuck. Shit. I have, like, six shotgun shells and, like, 20 rounds of 5.56 five, in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so I just closed my backpack. I just closed my backpack. It was fine. Nobody, nobody noticed. And when I got home, I took it all out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Way to do it. Uh, I used to carry a knife all the time at school. Like I always just kept it in my waistband, like you couldn't see it. Like all the kids knew I had one, but none of the teachers knew. Which is kind of how I got the reputation as like a crazy person, which really helped. <laughs> as you know, you don't fuck with a crazy person. I always um, carry my fucking leather and multi tool to work at a grocery at the, at the gas station. People don't give two shits because it's in a fucking like it's holster on my belt. So, oh, like I had this, I had this pretty big knife on me, and I kept it for like four, three, no, it was actually three years, three and a half years through high school. I kept it in my lacrosse locker, and like one day I was I was fixing some kids' gear, and I was like cutting their pads off or something like that for him. The coach walks by, goes, "What the fuck is that?" I'm like, "It's my knife." Are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, "Dude, I've had this for three years. I'm a senior now." Like. <laughs> You know I've had this because how else have people's gear been getting fixed? Like I have a I have a lighter in here. I've got screwdrivers. Like I got all kinds of shit. I got all kinds of shit, dude. I got like duct tape and fucking cable ties and shit. <laughs> like I've I've had this for I've had this in here for almost four years now. He was like, "You can't have that." And like took it from me. I'm like, "Okay." And then literally that day, he's like, "I need somebody to cut this." I was like, "Hmm." I wonder if anybody can cut this. Does anyone have a knife? Hmm. He's like, I need to go back to my office and get the knife out of out of my desk. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you. And then he threw it out. A little threw upset. Away. Yeah. Public schools. Uh, I don't know. Is that it? Any, any more stories? The parade? Nah, I don't know. Yo, that's why if I ever have kids, though, I'm fucking moving to, like, a different country, because fuck American politics. I'm moving to a different country. <laughs> Dude, I kid you not, I'm either going to fucking Japan or France. Those I was gonna say Japan! Japan! Oh my god, I was like, you should go to Japan. Japan has the best schooling system, man. Dude, find a nice-ass Japanese, honey? Mm, just, I can, I can work with that. You can just buy one. Yeah, but yeah. didn't you just you say if you... I one, they love white dudes there. That's true. White, white Hold is on. the best color in Japan. Hold on, I'm confused here. You just said if you have kids, you're moving to Japan. That would imply they're already in a relationship. So what, what's going on here, Jay Wolf? Have a fucking mistress, bro. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Mr. Jake, all I want is love, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, fam. Take it easy. Anyone ever had an active shooter situation at their school? Um. That was fun. Okay, also, I can't, tell you a terrorist I can't, threat. I also, uh, uh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. You had an active shooter at your work. That sounds like a story. Let's let's hear it. Uh, oh. No, it was a false alarm for me. For me, it was real. But anyway, no, I'm Jay Woolsey. Oh yeah, uh, I'm on. gonna pass on that one. That was weird. I have a really, <laughs> I, I got, really I got story. one. I hold on, real quick, Hawkins. I'm sorry. It, it's super quick. All right. So is mine. 
All right, go ahead. You want mine or you want? Yeah, you know, you go first. You know what? I'll I'll be a gracious host. It is really, really quick. So uh, it is Spectre's channel. Um, I I'm a bus driver, so I drive into uh, the school, and apparently uh, they're chasing this guy around the school because he snuck in and uh, had a special needs kid blow him in the in the in the bathroom. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait, he what him? <laughs> had a special needs kid blow him. Blow, blow his him? Dick. Yeah. Before what? Sex on him. A uh, male or a female special yeah. needs? I heard it was a female special needs student. Okay, I was gonna say because it's better to. At least he's not. Gay. <laughs> anyway. At least he's not. He's raping special ed kids, oh, but at least he's not gay. At least he's not gay. <laughs> wow. You, you you can really tell he's had a religious background there. <laughs> hey man, I love special needs kids. Not as much right. as that guy, clearly, but <laughs> not as oh much my as that guy. god. <laughs> Yeah. Who just thinks of that? Apparently he was like going to high school today and uh, rape a special <laughs> needs kid. Special... Yeah, he was like apparently like sixty years old and he was Asian. Oh god! What the oh, fuck? Yo. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. There's something else there, you know. Um. So. Alright, Spectre, your turn. The funny thing was, I wasn't even in school that day, but there was like an armed robbery suspect like at the school grounds, and the police were like haunting him. But the report that came into school was like there is a <laughs> an armed person on the school's premises who uh, it was white with uh, orange hair, and everybody <laughs> thought it was me because I wasn't in class that day. <laughs> and they thought I was the person who's being chased by the cops. Shit my, oh, my school did have school, an active you know? shooter situation. I remember now. Yeah, did the kid text you and be like, "You cool, stay out of school today"? No, it was elementary <laughs> school. It was elementary school. Oh no, it wasn't active shooter. It was like a lockdown because the bank across the street got robbed at gunpoint. Yeah. That's pretty much it. But yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. I remember like our, my my. It was like third grade. My teacher like was playing music while we were sitting down, and I remember I stood up for whatever reason. She like yelled at me, and I like almost crapped my pants. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> Who cares? Oh my god, my fucking police department on Facebook. With all the talk about gluten and everything these days, we want everyone to know that we can now test your illegal drugs for that harmful gluten. Just bring them in and meet with an Does officer who will handle PD things from there. Do that? <laughs> we should be safe from gluten. That's I always funny. love the police as they're like, we have your drugs, come and retrieve them. I wonder how many people they get from those. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a story that one girl actually did Apparently it works, because they commented on it, and someone's saying, this will never work, and you'd be like, they're like, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Uh, they're not high on drugs, and they're kind of retarded. Man, yeah, some like, of these people don't even need the drugs to be as fucking retarded as they are. I don't, I don't know where we should go from here. Like, Jay Wolf <laughs> got depressing. Retard, retard story, come on. Oh, <laughs> well, so, I... when I was in, I was either freshman year or eighth grade, one of those two. Um, I got arrested from school, like uh, pulled out of school in handcuffs into a cop car. Because I told this lunch, like, I made a joke, like, yeah, I'm going to burn down the school and then burn down a uh, church and assassinate the Pope. <laughs> wow. And uh, this so lunch lady, this lunch lady didn't understand my sarcasm. Or she, I guess she kind of did. And was like, you know, my job as a teacher to write you up for saying something like that. And I was like, yeah, you're not a real teacher, you're a lunch lady. And that's when I got written up. <laughs> and immediately, <laughs> and immediately uh, brought down to the office and then brought out in cuffs. That was pretty great. Um, and then later that year, uh, I got arrested from school again, the same year, uh, for almost getting into a fist fight with my Spanish teacher. <laughs> because this was when I uh, fractured my spine. It was like the first time I fractured my spine. And I was on heavy, heavy painkillers because like, I, I could barely move. And of course, I still had to go to school because my parents were like, yeah, you still have a pulse. Oh, okay. And, um, like, my painkillers wore off, like, right before her class started, so I was, like, just sitting there just fucking miserable, because I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe, and, uh, she was, like, in my face, she was, like, yelling at me about something, cause probably because I had my head, head, like, head down, because I was in so much pain, and I was, like, you need to get the fuck away from me before I knock you out, <laughs> and, like, I said, I said a comedy just like that to her face, she started, like, yelling at me in Spanish, I said, seriously, get the fuck away from me. 
and like kind of went back and forth like that for a little bit. And I like remember sitting in my math class, like, like look at my math class right after that, and I was like, I'm gonna get fucking suspended. And it's, sure enough, I got called down. And I see her in the office, and she's like crying. And the uh, wow. the, the administrator's like, you threaten you're gonna stab your Spanish teacher? I was what like, I was like negative. I didn't. I did not say that. <laughs> and he was like, I don't know. It's her word against yours. I was like, what about all the other thirty people in the classroom? And he was like, well, we'll talk to them, but uh, but you know the drill. That's what he said to me. And I got fucking arrested again. <laughs> get, get I hate public schools. Until it came out, like, I got, I finally read all the, like, the eyewitness statements that all backed me up, saying that I was in, like, I didn't say that. I still got suspended for, like, six months. What the fuck? Technically, it was an expulsion. Uh... Fucking public schools. GG. Anything else, Jay Walsey? You want you want to talk about? I could go into the Danielle story, but that would be that'd be. I don't know nah. how to, how depressed yeah. do we want to get. <laughs> I'm pretty depressed now. Should we just play? Should we just play D and D now? <laughs> nah, man. Squad. Oh, did I ruin D and D? Roll character sheets. We could play squad. I'm done for that. I only I have a little squad. bit of time left. Where are you, where are you going? No. I'm gonna go to bed, dude. I got work tomorrow. Oh my god. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. It's the last day of work for me for this school year. Dude, it, me, LaPrade, and Hawkins are all here, and you don't want to roll character sheets. Zero out of ten, worst DM. Did you guys already do it? I rolled mine. They didn't do theirs. Oh. I haven't done mine either, as far as I know. That's what I just said. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well... <laughs> got him. The dude, what, what time are we at? <laughs> 56 minutes. That's not professional. You're not supposed to check the time during Yeah, the this isn't professional. It's a terrible fake podcast. It's, nothing about this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Wolf, you're the man of the hour. Any closing thoughts before I stop recording? Please don't sue us. Uh, <laughs> bitches will be bitches, man. Alright. Duck, and anything? Spectre will still get fucking arrested. <laughs> Kozak? What? Any any closing <laughs> thoughts about how how upset uh, you are? Uh, I'm not really upset right now. I'm kind of just indifferent. Hawkins, I skipped over you. Anything? Oh fuck, man. Uh, no, I'm good. Laprade? No. Brewski, go fuck yourself. Yeah, wow. Brewski. <laughs> no one loves aviation. Okay, carry on. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so the girl that I, that I pretty much last had sex with three and a half years ago just texted me. We, she works with us right now. So <laughs> Just now just texted story. you? Yeah, she literally just texted me. She's like, hey, I know this is random, but I think we should hang out before I leave Hempen. Which is where I work. Oh. And I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't really know what to say to that. Because <laughs> I really don't want to fuck up what I'm going with this woman right now. And they talk together. Uh... Okay, here's the thing though. What are the chances of getting lucky with your ex versus the chances of the new girl? Those I are mean... your odds that you have to weigh. <laughs> see the and also, and also, you want long-term pussy or short-term pussy? Those are the I mean, options. I'm, I'm, I'm going for long. I'm, trying, I'm pretty much going for long-term pussy. Right? Then, that's why. Yeah, stick but with are, the new girl. But, just but ignore your ex. Don't, what's the don't. probability of the new girl though? That's the thing. Also, who's hotter? Shut the fuck up. Do Dude. you think that you can nail down a relationship no. with new girl? Uh, uh within six months. Yes. It's gonna take you six months, man. It's not worth it. No. Says the guy who who was no, dating no. somebody for seven months and only oh. kissed them. Yeah. You okay. fuck. Well, I valued okay. that relationship, dude. That meant a lot to me, and that hurts my heart that you're bringing it okay. up. Okay. Now, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Jay Wolf. I love you're you. Trigger him. I'm already okay. triggered, man. So oh, I gotta ask, is it a trigger. peck on the on the lips or like a? I mean, this oh. could be just like Which complete one? bullshit. Like just hang out, like, <laughs> and before she leaves, like, whatever. But I'm not really sure how to take that. God damn it. Anyways. I mean, they're both pretty fucking hot. The one, the new girl. I mean, she's she goes to the gym if they every talk day. To get, talk to get each other. It's the new girl trying to play a game. Yeah, it's a trap. She yes, that's talk, what I'm. She talked to your ex and was like, "Hey, uh, text you know, him, I'm ask him sure, if he wants to hang out." I know for fucking for a fact right now that that woman. Uh, you're right. 
Damn, this is uh. Oh, don't even oh, respond. Don't even no, respond. No, I know it. Abort. You're right. You're right. Abort, abort the mission. abortion. Abort. Don't abort. even wave respond. Off. Wave off. Wave off. Wave <laughs> off. God damn it. <laughs> or you could be fucking Alpha. Broken arrow. All right. You know what? Here. You should make a plan. You should uh, do both of them at the same time. Broken arrow. Yeah, why don't you fuck them both, dude? Oh, at the okay. same time. Look. Both like literally at the same time. Like, be like, hey, baby, you want to try something crazy tonight? Oh my god. Okay, that would be legitimately fucking insane. I mean, yeah. if I'm gonna disappoint one person, I'm not gonna disappoint two people, alright? So <laughs> just... Alright. Hey, Kozak, be like Task Force Alpha. Conduct recon and kill all their members. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> oh my god. What do I say to her? You don't. Hey, I know it's don't. random, but I think we don't. should be no, out early. Don't. Be like, I can't, I'm busy. Or just be like, nah, I'm good. Say so you're busy. Don't reply. Nope. I mean, it's one o'clock. I mean, it's twelve o'clock. I'm in bed. I'm not. Wait, I'm not replying yeah, tonight. Exactly. Let's exactly. have read receipts on. And then she'll text you in the morning. Did you get my text last night? Then be like, what text? Don't respond. We work. We work together tomorrow, so I'll just talk to her about it tomorrow. Be like, I'm gonna be busy that day. Mm. Matter. Well, here's the thing. Are you gonna be able to to tell her no in person? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, I mean, what? To be honest, it's like. <laughs> if Kozak's already like, fucking this up. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you should just though. text her now and be like, No, no, no. The I don't thing think is, that's if a good we're idea. just gonna go out like and have a beer, nope, no, 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 that's no, that's a bad idea. No, 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 don't no, do no, that. No. That's how we get you. No, hold on. <laughs> Wait, Wait, off. Wait, Wait off. Let, let me put my dick on. No, no, no. Here, right? here's, here's <laughs> how. No. no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. This is this is exactly how it's gonna go, right? And and you can and if I'm right. I will bet like my next paycheck right now that this is exactly what will happen okay. step by step Elaborate. in that night. Okay, she will take you out to a bar. She might buy you a drink, or she may not, depending oh, on how egalitarian she is. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so you never know. But she's going to continue urging you to keep drinking. Somewhere okay. along the line, she's going to try to touch you at some point in time. If you're going to a bar, that's kind of inevitable, so you should know what you're doing, so dress for the weather. Um, <laughs> but, like, but at some point, she's going to say, Hey, we should get out of here. Do you want to go watch Netflix or something at my house? And at that point, and that's when you should know no. exactly what's happening. No, you won't see it because you'll be fucking drunk. drunk. You'll I, be drunk. I am still <sighs> fucking you'll be drunk. I'm doing when I'm drunk. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what anybody says. If they choose to do something when they're drunk, they have full knowledge of what they're doing. I yes, never exactly. get so fucking here's... plastered at a bar that I have no idea what I'm doing. Or, or, here, or here, here's what else. This, is where, me, this uh, is where we insert the It's Always Sunny Philadelphia intro where it says like, Goes like fucks it up, and then you. You're gonna be having drinks with her, and then your new your your current girl is gonna show up because she told her. Okay. Or that and then be like, "What the fuck is this?" But but but, and this is where uh this is where you know. I haven't done anything wrong yet. I uh. We're not dating. So those of you that doubt that, that I'm actually true. Christian, I'm about to, she, I'm about to quote a little bit of the you, Bible right? here. Oh Jesus! Here we go. Yes, exactly. Literally. So so. <laughs> So Am I gonna Bible, have to link this in the link dump? Uh, it, it, in the Bible, the Bible. It literally, it literally uh, there's, a, there's a passage in there that says when you're in that situation, there's not a single man on earth that can resist that temptation, right? Even Jesus had that goddamn temptation at some point in life, too. Like, he, there was a point where he could have he could've banged a chick. Uh, I shouldn't say that because it's kind of borderline blasphemous, so I'm sorry, Jesus. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> You good Christian fag. But, but, but it literally, in the Bible, it says that when, when a man... Has pussy in his face. He ain't gonna say no. You literally. It says when you are put in that situation, fucking run. You, you, like I you will can, prove if, the Bible wrong. by millions of people for a reason. You're gonna get fucking laid if you I get don't in that situation. Give a you said what you hadn't had sense. sex for three and a half years, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're, you're gonna, gonna get you're laid. You're gonna get laid. I mean, the last time I did was with this chick. So oh my God, you're, you're fucked. You're gonna get laid. <laughs> Hey, that's my that's my joke. Down here from Hill. Excuse me. Don't go to the bar. Listen to your friends. They know. What is all down here from Hill? Bruce, are you drunk? Hello. That's what you said. Yes, you did. You said it's all down here from Hill. I'm dyslexic. All right. Don't 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 pay attention. That counts with words, not. Or letters, not words. Come on, no, dude. fuck you. Eat a dick. <laughs> <Fuck> you. <laughs> You're dyslexic, not autistic. Come on. 
<laughs> well, uh, I'm artistic. All right. <laughs> Jake <laughs> Thompson, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> okay, I, know, uh, I have uh, only like 15 mods in my uh, mod line. What should I have in there? Uh, um, the Rock Thompson. The <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I, was, I was getting so angry at that dude. Like, I literally sent him the list. Me and Spectre, I could see Spectre was getting pissed. I was like, just on the list. What's on the list is what you have in your mod line. Oh, so you mean I don't need cup units or like cup weapons? I'm like, or exile. Or Exile add-ons plus? Like, what? Base mod? Uh, yeah, you don't need that shit. God, which one was that? I think I remember him. That was the... That was just a normal Private Thompson. Oh, there, there's two Thompsons. There's a there's a Jake Thompson, and a, and it's just a Thompson. The, the retarded... The, the Private Thompson is the one that is actually... No, the Jake Thompson is the one who's... A... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he he was the one who went through our ITC class, so I fucking sat there for an hour trying to do mods before I came back no. to help you. That was the first Thompson. That was the other Thompson. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that Thompson didn't know how to do mods. Yeah, but he's actually. All right, Doc. How about you calm down, judging people, Mister? Hey, Fuck uh, this. I'm the one that had to help him with the mods. His first night here. So yeah. Guess what? Me and Ask Hart still had to help I literally him. was helping him. Anyway. We, yeah. Me and Songs and Hart also ended up helping him because he was still fucked during class. Keep keep, keep talking, Jay Wallsey. What's up? Uh, moral of the story is, Kozak, don't fucking go to the bar, okay? If you <laughs> if you value this new girl at all, you will not do it. Wave off. Abort mission. Exactly. Abort code is abort. Abort code is abort! Kozak, I truly want to believe that you have the best of intentions, but when you are fucked up and in the bar, and I a have cute ass... willpower. No, you don't. Mm. No man has that much willpower. Your penis will overpower if, if your she, if, she says, if she says, hey, you want to get out of here? I know exactly what you're going to say. Want to know why? I'm home. No, no, no. No, Kozak, do you know what you're going to say, Kozak? And I'll say it just like you will. Sure. Kozak. <laughs> no! Kozak, you, you, you don't have any... You don't have any commitments to this new girl. There is nothing stopping your penis from overpowering you and saying, "Nah, dude, we're going to this bitch's house right now." Like, you see, if you were dating someone, it would be different because you still have that in the back of your mind. But as of right now, you have no reason to stay with that new girl. If the old girl yeah, comes true. and tries to fuck with you, you're gonna fuck with her back. It's pretty simple math, especially but if you're drunk. She's also your ex for a reason. Like, yeah, those I mean, feelings are still gonna out. be there. It's gonna no, stay no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Me and this, me and this chick, we never dated. It. it was just the one night. But did you fuck? That's it. I, yeah, I smashed. Okay, you know how the male brain works, right? As soon as you fuck someone, you become attached to that person. It's the same uh, way for every human. I mean, whether whether I was or not for you the think. First year though, after that, I mean, but after oh. that, I was like, eh, I really don't give a fuck. Dude, when that dopamine and your dick starts getting hard, you you're gonna remember it all real clearly, oh, especially when you're fucked boy. up. Risk it for the biscuit. Fucking roll yeah. the dice. I'm rolling the dice. No. That's a regret. You're going to be... Probably just fucking going to Hemp and Hill, where I fucking work, having a drink, and then, hey, have a good night. All right, I'll see you later. That's not what's, what's going to happen. Mm. Uh, How often do you get... Oh, Kozak, yeah. Kozak, Kozak, Kozak. Woof! Why would she... Why would she text you? Why... Want to know why? In the morning, this is too. weird. 12 she could, she could Cause she could work random. tomorrow. Because she, she hasn't gotten any. Work. She hasn't gotten any in a while, bro. That's why she uh, wants it. She wants it bad. Yeah, and she wants right. it from someone who she knows she can get it from. <laughs> because she knows she can <laughs> manipulate <laughs> you. <laughs> if she truly only wanted to like have drinks with you, she would ask you at work tomorrow. No, she texts you exactly. at one in the morning. I mean, she's so probably... Yeah, she drank a good bit tonight at work. So, I mean, she's probably yeah, she's, fucking drunk as shit right now. That's why. She just wants some good dick that she knows is reliable. That's all you are right now. Good is a very loose say, term. Bet you, I swear dick. to God, uh, I will come no, no, no. to New Jersey and beat your ass. <laughs> see, see, clearly, she has to be okay because she's coming back to it, isn't she? Like, oh. think of the, leave the logic here, I mean, boys. it was come at on. least two hours. Okay, how yeah, how far down somewhere. the list do you think you are in the people that she texts? Like, are you number three? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, who... Gosh, this blown. is the first time she's texted me, probably... That's what I'm saying. I wonder who else she texted before you. Oh, yeah, you're In right. the order of booty call, where do you lie? I don't fucking know. She never texted me like this before. I mean, she's like, she's like, in like, she's, her last day is Saturday. She might have, she might have exhausted her options already, so. I mean, her last day is Saturday, <laughs> then she goes to actually work at her real job. You know, but see, maybe she's like, fucking, and she's oh man, away. I'm not gonna meet this guy for a while anymore. Might as well fuck him before I leave.
And she knows what it's like, exactly, so she knows what she's getting. And she's so. friends with the current girl you're seeing! Dude, you're yeah, so fucked. So, you're so <laughs> fucked. So, <laughs> so, as I was saying, if you have any feelings for this new girl at all, or you want it to even work, but you think you have, like, an expected, like, expected, uh, wait time of six months, is it even worth it, I question? Anyway, uh, but, like, you think about this logically, dude. Like, why else would this be happening? Uh, why else would she text God you at one in the morning? God is fucking fucking with me. No, 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 God's testing you, son. Uh, don't How did this get me. back to religious? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, Jay Wolf, you Christian faggot. Jesus loves you, Kozak. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Yo, pussy's pussy, though. Hey, Jay Wolf, I, I have one thing to say. Okay. God wills it! Thanks, God wills brother. it. Yes, Wolf. Yes, Wolf. Yes, Wolf. Oh my god, dude. I've, I mean, this chick has a fucking... No, 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 stop. Ace. Let me stop. No, no, no. He's a fat ace. See, now you're thinking but, about it. You're thinking about, about it. Now you want it. You're thinking about it. Now, you think about it. But, there's a now big I, but. Now I like you. Yeah, other yeah I bet butt. she does. My new girl is fit as fuck, and her butt is now so like you, perfectly and fucking... And I want you. Now we can do this the easy way. Oh, doing this the hard way. God. The choice is yours. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, seriously. We need a black is, southern uh, preach. Somebody get McKelvey in here. <laughs> we need we need black hour on station time now. Seriously, this woman. I mean, I'm not gonna text her back tonight because I'm just not. I just don't feel like doing that right now. Because <sighs> she was there tonight when we were drinking with the new girl, and they said they're like they're having a fucking blast. Like these two ladies, are like are fucking super good friends now and it's just like god mm -hmm. damn it yeah. the, the funny yeah, thing is that's test, dude. Like, yeah, when she back. first started when we when the girl that my the old chick i was with like i fucked when she first started working again and with us because she was at school she graduated and she came in i was like you know and i gotta i gotta break it to her. this is i gotta break it to the new lady tell her like all right i i fucked her that's it that's all it was i'm done i was like three years hey ago. uh do you uh do you guys but, do you, no, no, no. Do you, do you guys hear uh, Kenny Loggins? Because you're in the fucking danger zone, bro! <laughs> danger zone! <laughs> I want you! No, but no, Christ. Alright, anyways. I'm always in the danger zone. I live in the danger zone. Okay, yes. Calm down, Chief. Sounds like it. And, um... So, then, I was like... We took her out to uh, lunch the one day, and then we worked that night. And when I got back, it was that night... No, it was the next morning... I was talking to my one good friend that he works in the kitchen back where I work. And um, he's like, so I was talking to him. I was like, you know what? It was really fucked up. He's like, he's like, I got to tell her about the shit I do with this girl. Like, he's like, yeah. He's like, not 10 minutes later, the new chick comes back. She's like, so, uh, heard you did shit with this girl. I'm like, fuck. I was like, I wanted to tell you my personally, but I just didn't know how you would feel about it. Like, shit like that. I was like, just one time thing, nothing else. It was like that. And she just kept teasing me about it. I'm like, you know, like, it was one time thing. Like, I'm not, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, she's just, she's just like one of those jealous types. I was like, I don't like, like, she knows. I know. She, but, but the funny thing is, Caitlin, the girl that I used to fuck, that I fucked once, told her about it. I was like, wait a minute. Now they're talking about it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, on a side note though, Caitlyn's always had fat asses, dude. It's a oh my god, minefield. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, ah, I got Caitlyn and Kelly. Kelly's a new chick. Caitlyn's the old chick. And Kelly's are also always pretty K's, fucking hot too. And I've almost, I almost, I almost called Kelly Caitlyn once. That's funny, man. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> that would have been, been so much shit. wave off. It would have been, yeah, that would have been bad. Also. Just wait, you're gonna end up saying it during the middle of sex, and I'm gonna fucking oh, laugh when you tell me that I story. That, I can't no, wait no, 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 for, no, like, over. three weeks, happen. and Kozak comes back, he's like, Well, I got it, here we go. Caitlin. I called her Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the start of the next podcast. Yep. But I, feel like, I feel like this could legitimately turn into a podcast, though, like, we're fucking funny, I'm not, I, I'm... <laughs> Have you not been watching... I, need, I, I put need, out like three of these already. I need, I need to... <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, this is the third one. This is the third. All right. Well, I gotta take a shit. I'll be right back. Oh, this is the God. first one I'm in, and I'm happy to be on it. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank, Thank you for having me. me. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna have to splice this into the the last 56 minutes. <laughs> this went over an hour. <laughs>
probably cut out the part about Thompson. That'd be mean. Yeah. No, no, no. That's staying in there. <laughs> <laughs> no cuts. No cuts on the terrible fake podcast. That's what makes it terrible. No cuts. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking. Does no one give him Spectre's YouTube channel? Wait, wait, wait. You didn't get the honest. frosted tips part, did you? Because I really oh, yeah. didn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got everything. All right, we started from Monica, or whatever her name was. Molly? Molly, sure. How do you mess that up, man? Come on. Uh, it's an M. That's a long time ago. I ran into somebody that I graduated with who was in, like, three of my senior classes today. Didn't even know her name. I was like, oh, mm. Hey. Alright, I think that's it for good this time. So. Yeah.